Brandings and Coronavirus Safety. Welcome to the Ranching Through COVID-19 web series sponsored by the University of Wyoming Extension. We know that this global pandemic has disrupted daily life for many Wyomans, including ranchers, but we also know that agriculture is essential business. With the upcoming spring and summer season, we want to offer some timely information to keep our Wyoming ranchers and range managers on the cutting edge because we know that ranching doesn't stop, even in a pandemic. Spring in Wyoming means it's branding time. Today, we're going to talk about some precautions for brandings in order to minimize the risks associated with the coronavirus. Spring brandings are often as much of a social activity as they are a critical ranch activity. Some brandings may even have more people than they have calves. With that being said, the social gathering at a branding may be the most significant exposure that ranch families and employees have to coronavirus. We therefore must consider how to minimize this risk to ourselves and to others. Wyoming Stock Growers Association recently put together suggestions for brandings and how to minimize risk of coronavirus exposure. We think these guidelines are really logical. I want to make sure everybody involved in ranching considers them. Now here's the website where you can find these recommendations and we're going to go through these one by one today. If it's possible, try not to exceed more than 10 people. Now we realize that's going to be pretty tough to do at most brandings, but try to minimize the number of people where you can. Most brandings tend to be not only events to do important work, but they also tend to be social gatherings with people coming from near and far. If you can, try to get the work done with only family or employees that are already on the ranch and minimize the amount of people that are traveling distances to come. Most ranchers want to be able to help out other ranchers and neighboring is an important part of day-to-day -day life on a ranch. But at the, during this time of COVID-19, be careful about requiring employees or family members to travel to other brandings especially if you're unsure about who the other people will be at those brandings. This year, it might be prudent to encourage older folks or folks with compromising health conditions to not participate in branding activities. The reality of the coronavirus is the people most at risk are older family and friends, according to information from the CDC. Compromising conditions include heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, asthma, and weak immune systems. We've all heard that we're supposed to maintain a six foot distance from others. That might be tough with a bunch of wrestlers on the ground. So at this time during COVID-19, it might be a good idea to consider using Nord Forks or Headers and Healers a horseback instead of a whole bunch of ground crews as a strategy. It's gonna be tough to do, but we're even supposed to avoid handshaking and hugs. Another consideration is instead of gathering around a big table with a big meal, consider preparing boxes or sack lunches that people can just eat outside while sitting on the tailgate or sitting on the fence and maintaining social distances. Finally, follow all recommendations for hand washing, sanitation, and disinfecting. And if someone's sick or not feeling very well, make sure they stay at home and take it easy. Thanks for listening today. We wanted to let you know that we've heard from some folks working on ranches around the state and they're all taking these recommendations seriously and we hope you will too. Stay safe out there and let us know if there's any additional topics that you think we need to address. Hello, this is Barton Stam with the University of Wyoming Extension. I'm a range management educator based in Thermopolis and I do most of my work in the western part of Wyoming. Hello, this is Derek Scasta. I'm an Extension Range Management Specialist and an Assistant Professor um, at the University of Wyoming based in Laramie, and I work statewide on issues related to range and livestock management.